Marvel needs a win. So the X-Men getting it right is an absolute must do. But if this rumor is correct, Kevin Feige is just going to double down on the MCU. And here we go. <laughs> Is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. <laughs> What's up guys how you doing welcome back to the channel glad you stopped by and if you're brand new welcome grab a seat and stay a while but do me a couple favors first go down and hit that subscribe button go next door ring that bell make sure it says all so you know when the next video pops up hit that like button and before you head out drop a comment and if you're one of the regulars here welcome back for another round i ask that you also hit that like button and before you leave drop a comment because youtube does love the comments and of course share the video out on all social media uh, quick shout out, Roman of the Empire, his last stream of the, of the year was la last night. Big panel on there, a la lot of fun talking about favorite Christmas films. Always a great time being on Roman of the Empire. Link to his channel will be down below in the description. And also, I want to thank everyone who who got some Joker Voice merch for the fun for the biannual fundraiser for the Stuttering Foundation of America. If you were if you were not able to get that to get some merch, I will leave a link so you can if you want to you can make a direct do donation yourself. I will leave a link to that also down below in the description. <laughs> oh, Marvel Studios, the once cinematic juggernaut of the silver screen, has been, shall we say, not as successful of late. Um, the noted and well documented decline in quality uh if with everything post endgame of phase four and stage five of the mcu if there wasn't enough reason enough to course correct the loss of nearly 300 million dollars from the Mar arvels might have been a clue now you would think of recent reports of Disney Plus series and movies going right back to square one to being completely redone, you might think, well, they're going to course correct, obviously, and return to making a profit over intersectional feminist po politics. Well, if this rumor is true, Kevin Feige has no plans of that. In fact, he's going to double down and lean fully into more M C U. Fuck. Now, it's no secret that pretty much everyone since the acquisition of acquisition of Fox has been wondering when Marvel Studios is going to bring the X Men to the big screen. Um, is this makes a lot of sense because um, with the uh, with uh, the X Men and Spider Man, these are really their only two tentpole titles that that they have. Um, so getting this right is kind of essential if Marvel wants to turn around and resurrect this sinking ship. Now, this is just a rumor as of right now, but I have seen it in more than one more than one source, which I will be linking down, down below as well, um, that apparently Marvel wants to go in a as different from the 20th Century Fox films as possible. So that means the big bad will not be Magneto 
as of right now. But the main villain for the for the upcoming X Men intro will be Mister Sinister. But you knew it was coming, um, folks. The initial idea is to focus on quote the female members of the team end quote. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Now, the X Men with Mister. C- Inister as the main antagonist sounds like a pretty good idea. Mr. Inister is a cool villain from from the comics, so I have no complaints on that. However, the focus on the female characters of the team... Not a great plan. This is where things are going to fall apart. Sacrificing potentially a really good story for intersectional feminism... And the sad thing is, this is not necessary. I mean, Marvel, Kevin, you guys could do a great X-Men story and still check off all those precious DEA, DEI boxes that you care so much about. The X-Men is full of badass female characters. Storm, Emma Frost, Jean Grey, Psylocke, Kitty Pride, Rogue, and frankly, I think I can speak for almost everyone that we'd love to see a live action rogue absorb and drain the powers of Carol De- Anvers. I'm just saying. I know, right? So there is no need to focus on these char- characters at the expense of the equally awesome list of male ca- characters. I mean, Cyclops, Colossus, Nightcrawler, Forge, Beast, Gambit. Yeah, don't expect any Gambit Rogue romance storyline either. That's gonna suck. So, Kevin, you want diversity. Check. Badass female characters. Check. Just tell a good story, Kevin. But you won't. You will most likely be... uh, Give us another girl power moment... Just to sideline badass male characters who these the women are going to take down the male antagonist. This is kind of stupid. Mm. Final thoughts on this is I want to be positive because this property in the right hands could be absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately... It's in the hands of Kevin Feige and Bob Iger. But these are just my thoughts. I'm going to turn it back over to you. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Uh, Check me out tonight, Friday Night's Royal Rumble, over on Legion Talk, 7 p.m. Pacific Time. We'll be going over our favorite Christmas films and a few other topics that have popped up in the world of pop pop culture. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, folks. Again, quick reminder before you head out the door hit that subscribe button ring that bell if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video hey thanks for sticking around this long i appreciate that i will see you guys all very soon have a wonderful weekend ahead of you guys merry christmas and always have fun hashtag keep talking and always keep that smile on your face (laughs) toodles i say